Department going after bike thieves, and they're using a decoy bike equipped with a GPS transmitter to chase them down. Undercover officers can watch the crime as it happens, or they can be miles away and respond when they get a hit. Peter Bernard is on the night beat in Pinellas County. All right, Peter, how does this work? Who's taking the bait? These bicycle baits. Okay. Hello there, Keith. The goal of this program is to reduce bike thievery in the city of Gulfport and put those thieves here in jail. We tagged along tonight as P Gulfport police put out that bait bike. It looks like a regular high-end bicycle, and it is, except for one hidden piece of equipment, a GPS transmitter police ask us not to show, which sounds a remote alert if it detects motion. Um, when the bike is moved, we can actually determine when it's being moved, where it's being moved to, and uh, track the bike down and, and take appropriate action. A Gulfport police officer placed the unlocked bike in the bike rack at the library. We stashed a hidden camera nearby. With no takers here, we moved down the street to an apartment building. Uh, we can actually monitor the bike from a location outside of where the bike is actually located mm -hmm. and not have to get eyeballs on the bike itself. If somebody takes the GPS-equipped bike, an officer can pinpoint where it travels on a real-time map. Yeah. Bike thieves, like car burglars, look for an easy target. A bike like this without a lock or an unlocked car. It's a crime of opportunity. There are uh, tons of, of criminals in this county that want to come and just utilize that opportunity to get their hands on an item. The value of the bike determines if the thief will pick up a misdemeanor or in this case a felony. Oh, Thieves weren't biting here market. so we tried near the casino and later at the Save-A-Lot. Plenty of lookers but no illegal riders. Cops will be at it again. You'll never know what bike we may have out there, uh, what details we may be operating on at that particular time so you will be taking a chance on getting caught. Gulfport police tell me most of the offenders are in their late teens, and they also say most of them have done this many times before. Keith? Peter Bernard on the night beat. Thank you.